I'm starving. What are you hungry for? Maybe something French. Ooh, Chefs de France. I hear they have some new things. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Let's go check it out. So tonight we are eating at Chefs de France. This is the main current table service in the France Pavilion in Epcot. Normally they have Monsieur Paul, and then they also have Le Creperie de Paris. Oui, oui. Did I say that, that right? very good, oh, yes. thank you. Do, have you eaten at uh, Le Creperie de Paris I or at Monsieur Paul? have not, but I have been to Chefs de France before. So I'm very excited to try it again. Okay, so one thing I really love about Chefs de France is that your fresh bread is a real mini Second. That is so cute. And I need you to know that this is genuinely hot right now. Okay, we're gonna do a Ratatouille movie moment. Are you ready? No, no brunch. That means it was reheated. So, vegan check-in. This is, in fact, a vegan option. You can eat the baguette. You cannot eat the butter. That is real butter. Um, you can eat the baguette. If you're gluten-free, you cannot eat the baguette, but you can eat the butter. So it's such a fair trade-off, right? Mmm. The Leon baguettes are legendary. Mm -hmm. These are at least a relative, if not baked over there. I got a big bite. <laughs> now, I'm not feeling like this is probably fresh out of the oven. These were probably baked earlier and then reheated. Oh no, what's happening? Okay. What are you worried about? I can't say the name of the cheese. Gruyere, 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 I think. So I am going to start off with our one appetizer, and I have the soup and the Leon gratin. That is going to be the easiest one for me to pronounce, and it might be the last one I even get some of the words. But basically, this is some delicious French onion soup, so I am going to try it first. This is amazing. I want to get, make sure I get a really good bite of everything and not just cheese or broth. It's not even as hot, of course, because you know us, we have to take our pictures and videos. And this is still amazing. It's cheesy. The baguette that was inside is perfectly soaked in that beef and chicken broth. The onions are perfectly caramelized. I mean, it's a, an amazingly savory soup. It's after my own heart. If you don't like heavy on the broth, if you don't like soggy bread, if you don't like a lot of cheese and you don't like onions, you're not gonna like anything about this. But if you like everything I just described, you have to try it. This is ratatouille sur, sur quinoa. It's ratatouille served on quinoa with kale. And this is the plant-based offering, the one and only entree here at Chef de France. And I am stoked to try it again. I've had it before. I really love it. And as our waiter told us, it's different everywhere you go. Ratatouille is one of the dishes that if you're a French chef, everyone knows how to make ratatouille. It's yeah. almost like being able to poach an egg for American chefs. That's how you know that you've made it. You know that one thing. I'm gonna scoop a little of the puree into the quinoa to sort of keep the bite together, if you will. Ooh, I made a, a big bite. It sounds so healthy and boring. I promise you, this is a flavor explosion. It's a delight. It's a treat for the senses, mostly the taste sense. Mm. But it smells good too. It looks, honestly, the colors on the plate alone mm -hmm. are what's so intriguing to me. I have never had ratatouille, but this looks like a good one. I promise you, if you get this, you'll like it. You may not be satisfied because you're not used to eating no animal protein in your in your meal, which is totally fair, but um, getting this to share with the table, it's light um, and it's really beautifully flavored. It's very delicious. Emma, do you want to try it? I actually would love yeah, to I try would love it. You. I'm going to take this bite. Of course. This is my first time trying Ratatouille at all, and Ratatouille is one of my favorite movies, so this kind of feels ironic. I'm very excited. 
That is absolutely amazing. It, I think you described it perfectly. It's so light. I would consider that to be like a shareable salad for an appetizer if I was here with someone else. The flavors are amazing. I'm not someone who really loves quinoa, but I think all of that puree and sauce on the edges really makes up for the lack of flavor in the quinoa. I'm That's with you. Really, I'm so really with good. you. This is a dish where all the flavors together yes. make it. You have to get a little bite of each, the perfect bite each time. My recommendation would be to break down that quinoa in the middle. And, and I know this isn't appetizing necessarily. Right, look mix at it, it all together. But mix it together. That would be absolutely perfect. So this, I am going to read directly from the menu. I'm not going to try to pretend that I know it because I don't. So this is the poulet de mer roti à la Lyon, uh, Lyonnaise. Puree de pommes de terre. All of that to be said, or if I even said anything. It's a half chicken with mashed potatoes and green beans and a delicious looking gravy over the top of it. One thing I'm impressed with is like it genuinely is an entire half chicken and Matthew told us about how they have an entire rotisserie in the back, which I actually love. If, this, if it bothers you when people mix food, look away, because I'm going to try two bison one just because I want to. Okay, here we go. The chicken is cooked to perfection. It is not dry at all. The skin is not crispy, but it's incredibly flavorful. Obviously, it's not gonna be crispy anymore. We have had it for however long, and we've let it sit in the lovely gravy, but the gravy makes up for the chicken skin not being crispy. It is so rich, it's so flavorful. The mashed potatoes are incredibly creamy with all of the lovely gravy on top of those. Salty, garlicky, absolutely amazing. So if you're not a super adventurous eater, this actually would probably be a pretty safe choice for you. It's really good. Let's try a green bean too while we're here. I would actually say they could use a little bit of salt, but I'm a savory girl, I love salty things. They're very plain, they've clearly just been sauteed. Not a lot of seasoning, but they're good. A good addition to the heavy gravy and potatoes. So this is the brioche de crevettes a la base sauce aurora. Aurora, I don't know. Aurora, who knows aurora. what it is? That sounds love. This is basically just large shrimps that have been marinated in tomato and garlic with griddle and it's been griddled and served on corn, mushroom, shallots, cauliflower, and then a tomato, I'm gonna say this wrong too, mm -hmm. velote sauce. Oh, tomato velote sauce, yes. of course. I'm very excited, I love shrimp. So take that with a grain of salt before I review this. And I'm going to get a little bit of this deliciousness. This shrimp is perfectly grilled, like truly. It's that perfect amount of chewy but firm. It is not too tough, it's not too chewy. The charring on that is perfect. It adds just enough flavor without being just the char in your mouth. The sauce itself, I love mushrooms and tomatoes, so it's a perfect creamy, um, almost cuts through all of the saltiness of the shrimp. It's really, really light. That's some of the best shrimp I've had at Disney World in a long time. That's really good. Is it your favorite of what you've eaten today? I would say yes. We're gonna have to see if the cauliflower and the corn, how do I say, it's like just the corn griddled, hash, whatever this is technically called. We're gonna see if this holds up to the shrimp. No, but I'm assuming if I had these together, I'll try it together. This would really pull out the flavor of this. This is basically just bell peppers and onions and corn. There's really no seasoning. I Maybe it would be better if we had eaten it really hot, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna try it together and see if that would help it out. No, it's fine. It's good together. This is incredibly plain. Maybe if it was all in one massive bite with the tomato, bolet sauce, the hash, and the shrimp. Okay, and I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm, I'm really trying to save it. I'm gonna try it with some sauce too. I would just choose the shrimp and the sauce on its own. 
this is really just to make the plate more full without it just being shrimp. It's not bad, it's just not very good, if that makes sense. This is the gâteau à argne, crème, fraise, citron verte, with fruit rose tied. I don't think I've said a single word correct tonight. And if I haven't, I'm really sorry, and I thank Matthew for helping us. This is a citrus cake with a strawberry lime cream with a warm berry compote. Oh, I love a warm berry. Actually, I could probably try the warm berry compote. Ooh, that looks like a meringue. That is definitely a meringue, so I'm gonna eat that stuff not in Yum. my first bite, because I will struggle. Disney's not paying me to say this. This is amazing. I absolutely love the cake base. It's very citrusy, but in a complimentary way to like a lighter cake. It is not overwhelming at all. But that's, I know yogurt's not the appropriate word, but that's the texture that I'm feeling. That is really delicious. And all three components together, I would not eat any of this separately eat all of it together. It's just the perfect little mixture of flavors. That's really delicious. And then the meringue. It's meringue. I don't enjoy the texture of it. I feel like I'm eating chalk. And then, of course, the warm berries. My first thought is they're really cold. And we didn't have it for that long. Like if they were warm, I assume they'd still be at least lukewarm. So I think it's a cold berry compote. It's very good, it's very light. I think it's a nice compliment to the heavier cake, which the cake itself isn't that heavy, but it's just a good balance. I like it, it's not special. It's just blueberries really, but there you go. All right, I am gonna go ahead and try the warm blueberry compote. And I just use my fingers to scoop it up there. Emma, I totally feel you on the temperature thing. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because we did take a lot of pictures and a lot of video of it for All Ears Net, um, our blog. It's more on the side of real fresh blueberries than like a jam or a jelly. So don't expect it to be super sweet. It's, it's not. It's sauced, but it's not like a jelly or a jam um, or like blueberry pancake syrup or something like that. Well? Well? What did you think? I feel Parisian wined and dined, and I also feel like I need to download Duolingo. Oh, yes, absolutely. So, we need to refresh a, a, a French refresher. Yes. That sounds like a nice beverage also. It does. What was the highlight of your meal? I am kind of torn because I genuinely really liked a lot of what I got to eat. But I would say, singularly, the shrimp skewers. I knew I was gonna butcher that. The shrimp skewer was really, really good, but the entirety of the plate, probably the rotisserie chicken. Okay, awesome. And of course, the highlight of my meal is going to be the ratatouille, but it was quite a highlight. It was actually really good. I love the ratatouille, and I don't always choose to eat vegan things. So there you go. I it was very good. thought it was really, really delicious. And the dessert? The dessert was amazing. I traditionally go with the creme brulee here, but this was a great change of pace, and I would order it again. Yes, so. and it was nice that you got a dessert. Of course, this is not a place that's going to be great. It's not the best place for plant based eaters. I mean, the ratatouille is really spectacular it's wonderful. so I would say it is a destination for the ratatouille alone you're not gonna find an appetizer even the salads have meat and cheese in them and there is not a plant-based dessert for us so it's a little tough in that sense if you like this video go ahead and like and subscribe and now go watch my shopping challenge with Quincy in Epcot Ooh. I'll see you there